and Scully Avenue. Welcome to Dodger Stadium. A great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. First pitch coming your way next. Ready to go now. This is Corbin Carroll. Tonight for Arizona. The right fielder, Corbin Carroll. The pitch. In for a strike, and we're underway. Next offering down low and in the dirt. And a bunt towards third. And that's just foul. Kershaw fires. And it's even up. Good eye right there. The wind of the pitch. High fly ball down the left field line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One down. Cattell Marte up to the plate. The second base. Cattell Marte. And first offering is fouled off. Kershaw, a former Cy Young Award winner. He features a slider, a four-seamer, a curve, and he works in a changeup. Tap dances out of the way of that one. Next oh. offering misses. Ball two. Two balls. One strike. And now the lefty. Fouls one off. Two and two. And a pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. The other way, and he beats the shift. Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at bat, battling with two strikes. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Here's Tommy Pham. First pitch, and he just misses. Now wanted a one. There's a strike. The one two. Now a pop up on the infield. Rojas settles under it. Makes the grab for the second out. And now it's Christian Walker. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One ball. Marte off of first with two away. Next pitch downstairs, and the count is 2 0. Oh. Late on that fastball. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Kershaw the 2 1, and a foul ball. The pitch and misses inside. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. 
Now fly ball to right center. Hayward in position. And that is that. Here's Mookie Betts. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. The pitch. Edge of the zone. Call the strike. It's 0-1. Singy Mookie Betts, given name Marcus Lynn Betts. He attributes a nickname from his parents watching Mookie Blaylock play basketball. Yeah, Boog, and the cool coincidence with that name are the initials. MLB. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Slams into the wall and hangs on. Well, that's a great effort just to get to that one. And an even better one to take on the wall and hang on to the baseball for the out. Freddie Freeman in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Swing and a miss. And the count even one and one. Pitchers and catchers have a unique bond in general, but Gallen and Carson Kelly actually lived together for a while when they played at AAA. Technically, it was Kelly's apartment, and Gallen slept on an air mattress. Got to do what you got to do coming through the minor leagues, but that can definitely help to strengthen that bond, be on the same page when you get into the ballgame. Two-two on the way. Freeman checks his swing, appeal to third, no swing. And here's a 3-2. Freeman will take his base. The batter now will be Will Smith. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Right-hander kicks, deals. Runner on the goal. Pitch misses. There's a ball. And a 3-1 on the way. Called strike right there. And boy, that was the pitch. 3-1, you want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Grounder might be two. Quickly to second for one. To Walker, and that's two. In L.A., Alec Thomas now. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. There's a strike. He's so solid. Calms the heart rate of the pitcher and the manager when the ball goes up in the air. You just automatically assume that it's an out every time it's hit the air. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. Ground ball up the middle. What a stop. Not in time. He's safe. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr., First offering and it just misses. Second inning here, no score. On the ground, could be two. On a second, they get one. How about that double play? Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. 
Evan Longoria in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Next offering is in for a strike. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. Next one just misses. And the count's even at two. It's a good take. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Peralta right there to make the grab. And that is that. We head to the bottom of the second. Here comes Max Muncy. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. That pitch gets the inside corner. That is strike two. And the slider just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Struck him out looking. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Now it's J.D. Martinez. And first offering is fouled off. Talking about Martinez, he's one of the best fastball hitters in the game. Yeah, some guys are concerned about velocity, but he embraces it. Next pitch is downstairs. And a swing and a miss. Two gone now. That is good. David Peralta at the plate. In there for strike one. And the pitch is outside, ball one. That one missed. And a 2 1 on the way. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, two out walks are never good, especially when you're trying to get back into that dugout. But he's still in a good spot. He's just got to refocus and deal with the bottom of this order. Here's Jason Hayward. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Peralta off of first with two away. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Do that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. That's a base hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. He got that front foot down, and pitch recognition was on point. Pretty impressive for an 0-2 count. Next to hit, James Outman. In there, and it's 0-1. Here comes a pitch. And one ball, ball one. That's a strike across the top of the zone. And the right-hander deals. Struck him out looking. A controversial called strike three to end the inning. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Now here is Gabriel Moreno. Kershaw back to work. There's the strike. 
Moreno in the eighth spot in today's lineup, and he was born in Venezuela. Next offering is in for a strike. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. The wind of the pitch. Ball one, one there. Well, you put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. And now two oh, and two. Okay. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. On the ground to third and foul ball. Well, he's having a tough time getting the pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Moreno checks his swing. Now it appealed to first. And yes, he offered at it. Now up next for Arizona, Geraldo Perdomo. That's towards center, Outman. As this one sized up, puts the squeeze on that one, and there's two away. Corbin Carroll digs in now. Carroll, 22 years old, a former first round pick back in 2019. And he flips a breaking ball in there. Or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it. Whatever it was. That's hard hit on the line. Peralta puts the squeeze on that one. And that'll end the inning. Back here at the ballpark. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Miguel Rojas at the play. Rojas measures Rojas. six feet even, 190 pounds, and they traded for him earlier this year. That catches the corner. And fouled off. and misses it's a strikeout here's Mookie to hit he flied out to the warning track in his first trip Chris Mookie Betts has turned into one of the best all-around players in the game a former MVP multiple gold gloves multiple all-stars in the air right field and it hops over the wall for an automatic double. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Betts leads off second with one gone in the inning. This one in the air right field. Carroll moving under it. Makes the catch. Two away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. And up to the plate is Will Smith. 0 for 1 so far. First offering misses the mark. Now one and one. Runner at second, two down. Next offering is foul back. That misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. That one drifts inside. Man on second, two down. And he walked him. Well, he's normally going to fill up the strike zone and really limit base runners, but his command in this one just seems off out there. A lot more walks than he's used to giving up.
Muncy can't hold up, and that's a strike. Come back to the mound. Tosses to first. They get the out on Muncy. Play made. That ends the inning. And welcome back. Leading, Leading off, off Cattell Marte. The second, the second base. base. Cattell Marte. And here it comes. There's the strike. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 oh, 2 now. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. And a pitch. Nice. He goes down looking. Now the left fielder, Tommy Pham. He popped out his first time. Clips the corner, and that's strike one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above hey. league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. 0-2 oh now. Back foot slider ties him up, struck him out. Christian Walker stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Slapped foul. The 0 1. He swings and fouls one off. 0 and 2 now. That's the book. 1 and 2. That one back up the middle and it gets through. The center number five, Alex. So, man aboard. Thomas. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Alec Thomas. Reached on an infield single his first time. Swing and a miss. Going one. Going one. Two outs. Walker, the runner at first with two gone. Struck him out swinging. Slider got him for strike three. here at Chavez Ravine and now the DH JD Martinez the right hander back to work Chris when you look at the launch angle revolution JD Martinez might be one of the first guys you'd come up with remember he was released by the Astros in March of 2014 the Tigers signed him, sent him to AAA. He raked down there, and then once he was called up by Detroit, since then, he's been one of the top hitters in baseball. And yeah, there's ball four. Gosh, another walk in this one. Man, he is having some real issues with control. David Peralta steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Left-hand hitter waits. Slow roller up the middle. Perdomo. The flip to second to Walker, and that's two. That was a tough double play to turn right there. So nicely done by the defense. And with it hit so softly, I wasn't sure they'd have time to get both outs. And sometimes rushing a play like that can lead to big problems. But they executed every step perfectly. Hayward stands in now and watches strike one. That one catches the zone, and it's 0-2. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters 
Got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something oh. maybe down in the dirt. That misses, and the count is one and two. And a ball evens the count. Next pitch is outside. Right through there, got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Welcome back. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now it's the DH, Lourdes Goriel Jr. The wind of the pitch. That one the other way. Calls it in for the out. Now it's Evan Longoria's turn. Fly to left his first time up. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. One ball. No straight. A little bit high, maybe. And now 2-0. Oh. No and there's the strike. The 2-1. There's a swing and a miss. And now the count filled up three and two. And that's ball four. Gabriel Moreno stands in now for the Diamondbacks. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Runner on the goal. Swing and a miss. Throw to second and he's out. Next pitch misses and it's one and one. Gets him to chase after that one. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. That two one two. misses, and the count is even two and two. And there's a the ball. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Perdomo stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Swing and a miss. One one strike, strike one. They say it went. One and two. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Back here in L.A., bottom of the inning. Here's the center fielder, James Outman. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. And that one off the outside edge. You know, these Dodgers showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They haven't produced a run yet, but the pitch count for the starter is starting to climb, so they're hoping that starts to pay off soon. The 2-0 is in for a strike. And I think they're in a good spot thanks to their pitching, but no one would be shocked if this offense strings something together to take the lead. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Coming on is Fam to make the play. One up, one down. 
Miguel Rojas, the next to hit. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. Going one. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. One down, base is empty. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Reaching for it and brings it in. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Betts in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Next offering is downstairs. And that's in there at the knees. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds are looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. And Betts is set down. And that is that. New inning getting started. Digging in, Corbin Carroll. The right fielder, number seven, Corbin Carroll. And he deals. That misses the zone. Ball one. Well, these Diamondbacks doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. They haven't produced a run yet, but the pitch count for the starter is starting to climb. So they're hoping that starts to pay off soon. Next offering is down low. And I think they're in a good spot thanks to their pitching, but no one would be shocked if this offense strings something together to take the lead. Bounce to third. Muncie sends it to first. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Marte in the box for the third time today as he takes that one off the plate. Next pitch is outside. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. That's down and in. And a pitch. And he walked him. Here's the left fielder, Tommy Pham. First pitch, and he just misses. The belt and fires. So two oh. balls and no strikes. Marte stands at first with one out. The next offering misses. And that's ball three. Tried to backdoor him with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. 3 0 down. And now three and one. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. And ball four to a board. Dolly's been in a very giving mood today. And the batter now, Christian Walker, one for two. First pitch, not close. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Now one and one. Ball. 
the pitch. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. Nothing happening on the bases, though. Kicks and deals. To short, could be two. The throw to second, and that's two. Well, we go bottom six, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman. And a pitch. Chris, back in the day, they called Sean Casey the mayor. I think today's version of the mayor, the chattiest first baseman, would be Freddie Freeman. The 1-1. One -one. And that one wrapped foul. Left-hand batter waits. Oh. Recognize that changeup oh. right out of the oh. hand. Just spit on it. Here's a 2-2. Got him. One away, bottom of the sixth. Next up, the Dodgers catcher, Will Smith. Swings through that one. 0-1. Just a bit tardy there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. Next offering is in for a strike. Righty delivers. Inside just missed. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. Didn't go. 2-2 two -two down. Strike three. Got him looking on the changeup. And now it's Max Muncy. Gotta be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. And that's in there for strike one. Muncy, a former all-star. 32 years old, and he was a fifth-round pick back in 2012. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. The 0-2. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw in. Not in time. He's got a double. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good, balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. He gets the attention to walk here, and now a force at any base with two gone. These fans don't like to see that because they showed up to watch him swing the bat, but this team does not want to let him beat him. I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. And the 1-0. And there's the strike. One one. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. First and second, two down. a one-two that's to third they take the force out inning over all set for the start of the inning and now the center fielder Alec Thomas Kershaw back to work and he pumps in a strike well, he's back out there to begin the seventh. That surprised you at all, Chris? Yeah, a little bit. It was a little rough the sixth oh. inning there, but his skipper's got a lot of confidence in him. One but three. trust me, they will keep a close eye on how he does in this one. Up the middle, Rojas. 
Fires to first on the run. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Here's Guriel. Just missed. One ball. Next pitch is inside. And that's ball two. In the air right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Out number two. Next to hit for Arizona, Evan Longoria. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. That clips the corner. Next one misses, and a count two and one. And there's a strike. Got it by him for the K. Bottom of the seventh, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Jason Hayward. The wind of the pitch. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Next offering is in for a strike. Just missed. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. That one misses in the dirt. Man, he's been really good. About to hit that 100 pitch mark here in the seventh. Man, we'll see how far they're going to ride him, but it's been pretty good so far. Out towards right center. That's well struck. Carroll raging back towards the wall. Back some more. Makes the catch up against the wall. And up next for Los Angeles, James Outman. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And a swing and a miss. And a 1-1. Way out front for strike two. Clearly all in on the fastball right there, but it was a changeup. Bottom just fell out of it. He's going to have to make an adjustment. On the ground. Over to first. In time. Nice stretch. So two down now. And here is Miguel Rojas. And the first pitch misses for ball one. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. Thomas running hard to get in. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And that ends the inning. Ready to begin the eighth. And here's the catcher, Gabriel Moreno. Line to kick the pitch. Line drive, base hit. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball, let it get deep, took the ball right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound, number 80. So up next, Geraldo Perdomo. That clips the zone, and it's 0-1. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Right-handed reliever. 
Swing and a miss. And it's nothing in two. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Goes down looking. Corbin Carroll will hit next. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. On the ground, a short could be two. Rojas to second, over to first, safe. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Here's Cattell Marte. Now move to first. Carroll back on a dive. Another throw over. Yeah, they're keeping him close. It's a pitch out. Nothing doing. And that's ball one. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. And now to a nothing. Chris, with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Line drive. Peralta makes the catch. And that's the third out. Here at Dodger Stadium, here's the second baseman, Mookie Betts. And a pitch. Good oh. eye right there. You can expect this hitter to be looking for something on a tee. He can get up in the air and untie this ball game. And it's fouled away. The pitch. Late with the swing there. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. Got him! Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Known for his late inning heroics. there for strike one. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. That misses the zone. One ball, one strike. The pitch. Swing and a miss. It's a ball and two strikes. And that just misses. That's a really good take. The 2-2. Checks his swing. Now it appeal to third. No swing. Just held it back there. The pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Up the middle. Not in time. He's safe. Love how he became a really tough out with two strikes right there. Handled that down and in breaking ball very well. And saw the break early coming from the other side and just let it get deep enough and drop the barrel on it at the very last moment. Now on the mound for the Diamondbacks, Ryan Thompson. One down, runner at first. And now the catcher comes up to him. Will Smith, a strikeout and a walk. And that's downstairs and outside. The 1-0. -oh. On the ground to the left. And it's just foul. That was close. Roll to short, possible two ball. Over to second for one. And that's quick work out of the pen. One batter, two outs, inning over.
back here at the ballpark down the left fielder Tommy Pham. And here it comes. That one missed. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. No, he held up. The wide to kick the 2 0. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Strike two. <laughs> the pitch. Line drive. Pulls it in. One away. And next will be the cleanup hitter. Christian Walker. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Peralta settles underneath it. He's got it. Two down. Alec Thomas stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Ball one there. Here comes a pitch. Check swing, but he went too far. And it's one and two. And that's oh. down it away. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, too, too. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Got him swinging. So out of the pen for the Diamondbacks, Joe Mantiply. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. Max Muncy at the dish. Well, one swing's a lot easier than getting two or three hits to win this ball game. You better believe he's going to be all in to hit the ball over the fence somewhere. There's a strike. One strike. Next offering misses, and now it's even one and one. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Now, Here's J.D. Martinez. J.D. Martinez. Ball one, no strikes. All tied up here in the last half of inning number nine. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Now here is David Peralta. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is I want to stay square to the plate. Try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Pulls that one foul. 
The 1. Ripped on the ground a second. Slings to first. Inning over. Here at Chavez Ravine, on to extra innings, and it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. The right-hander back to work. That's in there. That's strike one. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, 